Hi everybody, welcome to Let's Blow Off Some Steam at the Santa Maria Public Library. It's a science, technology, engineering, arts, and math program just for preschoolers. Today we are going to talk all about apples. We're going to talk about the apple cycle, but first I am going to do a little flannel for you. It's called the Little Red House. And after that we'll talk about the, the apple life cycle and then we'll show you a little experiment that you can do at home with your apples. So let's get to the flannel. The Little Red House. Once upon a time, there was a young boy who played all day long. One day, he got so bored with his toys and games that he asked his mother, what can I do? His mother, who was full of wonderful ideas, told him, I know about a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside. Why don't you try and find it? The boy's eyes grew wide with wonder. Which way shall I go? He asked. How can I find a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside? Go down the lane, past the farmer's house, and over the hill, said his mother. Come back as soon as you can and tell me all about your journey. So the young boy started down the lane. He hadn't walked very far when he came to a girl who was dancing and singing in the sunshine. Do you know where I can find a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside? asked the boy. The little girl laughed and said, no, I don't know. But why don't you ask my father? He's a farmer and he might know. So the young boy walked on until he came to a big red barn. The farmer himself was standing in the doorway, looking out over his green pastures. Do you know where I can find a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside? Asked the boy. The farmer laughed and said, huh, I've lived a long time and I've never seen one. But ask Granny, who lives at the foot of the hill. She knows how to make molasses taffy, popcorn balls, and red mittens. Perhaps she can help you. So the young boy walked until he saw Granny sitting in her pretty garden of herbs and flowers. Please, dear Granny, said the little boy, do you know where I can find a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside? Granny was knitting a red mitten, and when she heard the boy's question, she laughed. I would like to find that little house myself, she said. Perhaps you should ask the wind, because the wind goes everywhere, and I'm sure it can help you. The young boy waved goodbye to Granny and began walking up the hill. He was beginning to wonder if maybe his mother had made a mistake about the little red house. Suddenly, the young boy felt the gentle wind at his back. And he called out, Wind, do you know where I can find a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside? The wind replied, which sounded like, come follow me, to the young little boy. So he chased after the wind through the grassy field and into an apple orchard. And here the wind blew at the top of, the, of an apple tree and gently shook out a large rosy red apple to the ground. The boy picked up the shiny apple. It was so big that it took both of his hands to hold it. Then he knew. He ran all the way home, grasping his apple tightly in his hands. Mother, mother, he called as he entered his house. I found it. I found the little red house with no doors and no windows. But mother, I don't know if there's a star inside. Mother took the apple and very carefully sliced it in half. Oh, now I see the star, explained the happy little boy. I asked the farmer, I asked the little girl, I asked the granny, but only the wind could help me solve the riddle of the little red house with no doors and no windows. The end. So I hope you enjoyed the story about the little red house with no windows and no doors, but with a star inside. But I wanted to show it to you. So here's an apple. See, no windows, no doors, and it's red and a star inside when you cut it open. And that in the star, and that's where the seeds go. So to grow an apple, you need a seed, 
you plant the seed in the ground and then you water it, it gets some sunlight and then a little baby tree will grow and then eventually a big strong tree will grow that will produce apples. And once those apples are produced, you pick an apple, you can tell your story and cut it open and take some of those seeds and plant them just like you did before and there you go, there's the apple cycle. So when you're at home and if you have some apple slices and they're all cut up, if you want, you can use those to build structures. However, to build them, you will need a toothpick or toothpicks, which check with your, with your caregiver to make sure it's okay that you do this before you do it. Because as you can see, toothpicks are sharp on both ends and you don't want to hurt yourself. So you do want to have a parent or guardian or caregiver watching you while you, while you build these. And I built one. And this is how it I came up with. And if you look at it, it kind of looks like a robot on one wheel. And that's what I built with my apples and toothpicks. So that's something you can do. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this story and learned all about Apple Cycle. After this, I'll put a list of book recommendations to learn more about apples. And if you'd like, you can place a hold on them and we have a sidewalk uh, service that you can pick up books. So you can do that with the Apple books or any other books. It's a limit of 10 items you can pick up at a time. So just go onto our website, go to blackgold.org, select Santa Maria Public Library and place your hold and then wait 24 hours to come pick them up and they will be ready for you to take home. Bye, thank you, and I will see you next time.